Welcome to my journey through Indonesia, a land of majestic mountains, thrilling adventures, and breathtaking sunrises in East Java. This seven-day trip was packed with unforgettable moments, each one more awe-inspiring than the last. On the first day, we ventured into a natural cave where beams of light pierced the darkness, creating an otherworldly experience. Day two took us to the iconic Borbudur Temple, a masterpiece of history and culture, followed by a scenic exploration of Yogyakarta's vibrant surroundings. Then came the adventure of a lifetime, a hike up the Mount Ijen volcano, famous for its mesmerizing blue flames, and a visit to the stunning Tumpak Suwa waterfall, where nature's grandeur left us speechless. Finally, the journey culminated at Mount Bromo, where the dramatic landscapes provided the perfect backdrop for the ultimate bucket shot photos. So join me as we relive these incredible moments together. Let's begin the adventure. Our first stop is the mesmerizing Jamblang Cave, a natural wonder that feels like stepping into another world. To enter, we descended deep into the earth, harnessed to a rope slowly lowered into the heart of the cave. Once inside, we navigated through the darkness, our footsteps echoing against the ancient walls. And then there it was, the famed heavenly light. A stunning beam of sunlight pierced through the cave's roof, illuminating the chamber in a surreal glow, a reward for the journey into the depths. To cool off after the adventure at Joan Blanc Cave, we headed to Pindul Cave, a completely different yet equally captivating experience. Floating on inner tubes, we drifted through the cave's serene underground river, surrounded by stalactites and the gentle sounds of flowing water. It was the perfect way to relax and take in the natural beauty of Indonesia at a slower pace. This adds a sense of calm and contrast to balance the thrilling Joan Blanc experience. We ended the day with a visit to Kopi Luwak Matam, a place steeped in the rich history of Indonesia's most famous coffee. Known as civet coffee, Kopi Luwak is crafted from coffee cherries that have been eaten and fermented by civet cats. This unique process enhances the flavor, giving the coffee its smooth, rich, and slightly earthy taste. Once considered a rare luxury, Kopi Luwak carries centuries of tradition, connecting Indonesia's natural environment with its cultural heritage. Sipping this iconic coffee was the perfect way to wind down and reflect on the day's adventures. The following day, we visited the iconic Borobudur Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and one of Indonesia's most treasured landmarks. Built in the 9th century, this magnificent structure is the largest Buddhist temple in the world, standing as a symbol of spirituality and artistry. Its intricate carvings and towering stupas tell stories of enlightenment and ancient wisdom, while the panoramic views from the top reveal lush green landscapes stretching into the horizon. Exploring this temple was like stepping back in time, 
immersing ourselves in the beauty of Indonesia's cultural heritage. Our next journey took us by train to Surabaya, marking the beginning of the second half of our adventure. From there, we prepared for one of the most challenging yet rewarding experiences of the trip, a midnight hike up Mount Ijen. At 2 a.m. under a blanket of stars, we began the ascent, determined to reach the summit before sunrise. The trail stretched 12 to 14 kilometers, testing every ounce of strength I had, especially with my camera gear adding to the weight. It was easily one of the toughest climbs I've faced so far, but the effort was worth it. Mount Ijen is famous for its electric blue flames, a rare natural phenomenon caused by ignited sulfur gases, visible only in the dark. Unfortunately, due to a volcano warning, we couldn't witness the blue flames this time. But as the sun began to rise, the breathtaking view of the turquoise crater lake and the rugged volcanic landscape made it all worthwhile. Standing there, exhausted yet exhilarated, I realized that the journey itself was just as unforgettable as the destination. The morning after our Mount Ijen adventure, we set out to visit the breathtaking Tumpak Suu waterfall, often called the Niagara of Indonesia. As we approached, the sound of cascading water grew louder, building anticipation for the view ahead. And when we finally saw it, words could hardly do it justice. The waterfall stretched like a curtain of silver threads tumbling down from towering cliffs, surrounded by lush greenery that made the scene feel almost mythical. To truly experience its beauty, we had to climb down a steep and challenging trail, winding through slippery rocks and bamboo ladders. The descent tested our endurance, but with each step the view became more surreal. Standing at the base enveloped by the mist and roar of the waterfall, I felt a sense of awe and tranquility that made every effort to get there more than worth it. And now, the moment we had all been waiting for, the journey to Mount Broma. At 2 a.m., we climbed into a jeep and began the bumpy ride toward King Kong Hill, the best vantage point to witness the iconic sunrise over Mount Broma. As the night sky began to transition, I set up my camera, aiming to capture a fleeting and magical moment. The lights of the town glowing on the left, just before the first rays of sunlight began to illuminate Mount Bromo in all its glory. It was a race against time. The town's lights were moments away from fading, just as the sun was ready to cast its golden hues across the landscape. Standing there with the crisp air around us and the excitement of the chase, I felt the rush of being in the right place at the right time to capture something truly extraordinary. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I did. From the breathtaking caves to the majestic mountains and everything in between. 
It's been an unforgettable adventure, and I can't wait to share more with you. See you again real soon. Thank you.